we have uh, Katie Taylor versus Sharapova. Uh, we have a 27 versus 25 year old, so it's a bit of a gap in the age. Uh, but not in the WA rankings where it's first and second in the world. Um, it wasn't Kate Taylor's uh, best fight, but she definitely got the job done. Um, her opponent, um, she was very good. She threw, I would say, she threw a lot more punches, but you can see that Kate Taylor um, dodged a lot of them with her speed. Um, Kate Taylor had a lot of left hooks, a lot of jabs as well to keep herself in the game. Um, her opponent made it very awkward uh, for Kate to get her usual sequence in. Um, you can see why it would be a very close fight. Um, the first and second round were very close between the two, um, but it was a third and fourth where Kate Taylor got into her stride. Uh, you can see one of her best punches throughout the whole fight in those two rounds. Um, the first, the sorry, fifth and sixth uh, was a little bit scrappy. Um, you can see that they were very close to her, head to head. Um, there's a lot of blood though, so it was very, very messy. But I think it was in the sixth round where Sharapova uh, had a point deducted uh, due to a foul. She did, um, we can see how very close it was to those rounds, especially also in the seven and the well, the seven and the eight was also very messy as well. You can see Kate Taylor and Sharapova; she, they were getting very worn out throughout those two rounds. You can see it, but it was the ninth and tenth where it got really interesting. Sharapova did some very very good um, punches in the tent. You see, she definitely won that round, but it was Kate Taylor who won the match at the end. Uh, we're going to see how it goes for the next fight, but it was a very interesting fight. Um, I actually enjoyed it anyway. Um, but it was Kate Taylor who came out victorious, and let's see how long she can keep going. So, as Kev said, Katie Taylor continues her undisputed undefeated run in the women's lightweight boxing division. Um, yeah, huge, huge victory. Um, I think it's her sixth straight decision win. Um, you know, it's, it's sort of easy to predict at this point that uh, you know she, she just outclasses people. It was a much more competitive fight than a lot of people thought it would be um, going into it, but um, yeah, at the end of the day, she is the best in that division by quite some distance. Um, as she mentioned in the, the post-fight interview, though, I mean, this is, was very much a set-up fight to get her to where she wants to be, which is that Amanda Serrano fight. Um, Serrano, of course, fighting Miriam Gutierrez in a couple of weeks, I think, on the Jake Paul card. So this weekend, uh, fights Miriam Gutierrez this weekend on the Jake Paul Tyron Woodley 2 card, so very much as what was being discussed was that this could possibly go into MSG. Um, obviously it won't be the headline, I mean, again, uh, you would presume they'll they'll put something maybe uh, one of the big heavyweight fights or something above it, as uh, despite Katie Taylor's success, she hasn't quite had the main event draw that um, many would expect. I mean, I can't believe she still has some foreign Ireland yet on a big card in one of the stadiums or something, just <laughs> blows my mind that they haven't decided to do that yet. But yeah, the Serrano fight, very much the um, the big fight that uh, both her and Eddie Hearn have been waiting for for quite some time now. It's, you know, one versus two in the pound for pound women's rankings, um, undefeated versus, well, you know, 41 and 1. But first quarter next year, I would presume we will see that, um, again, uh, going on the lines of uh, if Serrano can get past Gutierrez. But yeah, huge win for Katie Taylor um, on the... On a relatively big card in the UK again, I mean, uh, arena show. But yeah, uh, sooner or later you presume she has to be main event and hopefully we'll get to see her in Dublin at some point before she calls it. Um, but yeah, big win for her, but yeah, it's all about that Serrano fight now. And um, yeah, it could be, as they were <laughs> hyping up, the, uh, the biggest fight in women's boxing history.